Elizabeth Lorenza. Good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, your motor vehicle has been booted. It has, yeah. Inspector Carrigan, you want to explain to the court what the status on this is? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Back in 6-14-13, a judgment was due of $290. That's five years ago. Yes, Your Honor. Prior to that, she only paid the $100 to release the boot. That was for tickets, which I mocked off here, from 2013 back to 2007. Since then, she's accrued more tickets going forward from 2013 to 2018, but has never paid the $290 judgment that is still owed. And never paid any of the other tickets? No, Your Honor. All right. So, Elizabeth, here's the deal with you. You were here five years ago. You were charged $390. Were you before me the first time? Yeah. You were. So I gave you a break. So I said, pay $100, and then gave you time to pay the additional $290. And I said, you're going to be, you see, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. You didn't pay one penny. You got the boot off the car, and you said, good, I'm free. I'm not going to pay anymore. So you paid nothing. Then after that, you got one, two, three, four, five. You got six more tickets. You didn't pay one, not even one. Now your car's booted again. So how would you feel if you gave me that break, and now I was before you again? What would you do? Well, yeah, I would be maybe a little bit, you know, Upset. I'm not, I'm not upset because this isn't my money. I know. But I have an obligation to, to perform yeah. my duties and to try, try to do what's just and fair. So I'm confronted with you, who actually thumbed your nose at me last time, saying, I'm not going to pay it. I'm not going to pay a thing. And then you got more tickets. You didn't pay them. Now you're booted again. I don't remember six tickets from then, but I do remember two. I don't know where six are from. And in addition to that, you went through two red lights. You didn't pay one. So what do you want to tell me? Um, I don't have, you know, a real good explanation, I guess. You know, I just have been struggling and, um, you know, we, things we come. We haven't changed our phone number down here. You could have called and said, listen, I'm experiencing some difficulty. Can you give me more time? You never did that. No, I guess I didn't know. <coughs> No, you didn't do that. Not only did you do that, you got more tickets. Yeah. So, now here's, here's your problem. Here's, your, that, here's my choices. My choices are, say, I'm going to set a new amount, and you have to pay it today, and if you don't pay it, the car's going to get towed. If the car gets towed, then they'll charge you about 100, a little over $100 for the tow, and then about $30 a day for storage. They're not going to release that car until we authorize them to release it. So your car will be there, you probably have to get. You probably have to default the car. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So that's my decision. So, so what are you asking me to do? Um, help me, and I have cash in my pocket, and I'll pay. You know, a substantial amount. How much can you pay? Um, like three hundred dollars. I take no pleasure in giving people lectures. I really don't. It's not. It's just not my nature. But I have a job to do. I mean, I wish that justice in this case would demand that I'd say, you know, Elizabeth, you can just go. But you, you didn't show good faith the first time. I'm going to impose, this, this would include your, include your previous judgment. I'm going to impose a fine of $560. You're going to pay $300 today, and they will remove the boot. That's going to leave you with a balance of $260. We're going to put you on a payment plan. You want to pay weekly or monthly? Monthly. How much can you afford a month? Um, probably 30 $30 a month? Okay. Now, that's a sensible suggestion because I would suspect that you can afford $30 a month. Elizabeth, here's the deal. If you can't pay the $30, call the court, speak to one of the clerks, right, and tell them that that month, whatever the situation might be, that you're experiencing some financial hardship, and if they could continue it for another month. Okay. But call the court. We're not changing our phone number. Right? If there's any issue, then tell them 
that, that was my suggestion, right? And, and to leave you a number for me to call, okay? I want you to take, do something proactive so you can help yourself. If you don't do that and you don't pay the 30 and you come back to me again, you're gonna end up forfeiting your car. I don't want to do that. Don't force me to do it. I know. You know. No, I know. I know, I know. Everybody, I know, I know, I know. I want to make sure you know. All right? I don't take any pleasure in doing this, okay? I actually reduce the fine a lot to give you a break. So help yourself. Are you working? No. You're not working? No. All right, I'm not going to get into, into that area, but if you can't afford the 30 on any particular month, call. It's not going to go away. The computer isn't going to say, oh, Elizabeth doesn't have it this month, okay? Mm -hmm. You have to do something proactive. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. Jimmy Riley. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You uh, were due in court and you didn't appear. Yes. And then you filed a motion to uh, vacate your default because you were defaulted. And the reason that you're giving to have the default dismissed was you were out of town for work. Yes, sir. Why didn't you inform the court that you wouldn't be here? We haven't changed our phone number. Oh, I just, I don't know, I'm sort of new to the whole thing of getting in trouble. And <laughs> now you certify you have a valid defense to these charges and then you, here's what you said your, your defense is. I honestly made two mistakes and would like a chance to use my good driving record to reduce <laughs> any tickets, okay. Well, Dad, I, <laughs> I wanted to just be able to come here to just say, you know, like, I'm a person just like everybody else. Sometimes you make mistakes. It was, it, it sucked. I was definitely in the wrong for the, so what had happened was, this guy was in this lane, and I was in this lane. And I thought it was a turning lane, and I went this way, and he clipped me at the end. So I, that, that already sucked that I put somebody else in <clears throat> danger, and he had to deal with that. Yeah. And I had to deal with my car being messed up. I had to deal with the insurance. I had to deal with now the, the money part. And then, well, I was going to say that coming here was a terrible experience, but so far it's been pretty entertaining, and that's it. not that bad. <laughs> So I just, I was hoping that, you know, maybe that this could be forgiven. I, it's the first accident I've ever been in, and it, it, it sucks. Oh. Well, you perhaps could use a, a better terminology, number one, okay? Sorry. All right, I mean, this isn't a street corner. Okay, you're in a court of war. Uh, and your explanation, quite honestly, I know you're trying hard, mm -hmm. but I really didn't understand your explanation. I, I thought you were the third base coach for the Red Sox. You were saying, I went this way, and he went that way, and he went this So I didn't know, I didn't get those signals. Inspector, did you get the signal? I did, Your Honor. You did? I did. Oh, what do you think about the signal? Uh, it sounded like he was in, uh, in a lane that he wasn't supposed to turn, but he didn't know that, and he, when he turned anyway, he got into an accident, Judge. See? First day on the job. He's doing good. He's doing great. <laughs> he just convicted you. <laughs> I thought about this, and I was first gonna make a decision like this, and then I decided I'd make a decision like this. And so the decision is, you either have to pay $85 today, or come back and have a trial. What do you wanna do? I'll do, I'll, I'll pay today. You're gonna pay today? I just thought maybe I could come in and try to alleviate the, <laughs> $80 and maybe make it less or use a good driving record. You never know till you try. Unfortunately, you can't use a good driving record. I try. If not, I would dismiss another good driving okay. record. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening to me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Have a good rest of the day. Can we just stop for a moment? Who the heck is this kid? I take a couple days off to recover, bravely, from a painful knee surgery, and this wannabe shows up and does the patented Ziggy Lean in my courtroom? Oh, hell no. Keep moving, kid. This is Ziggy's house. That motorist thought his case sucked? Well, this really sucks for you, kid. I'm watching you. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.